government says celebrations for the peace accord selected for 30th October will mark a new start for the country. In a statement after today's one-hour ordinary cabinet sitting chaired by President Kir, Deputy Minister for Information Lily Albino Akol said government hopes the A-list invitees to the celebrations including Riek Machar, members of other opposition groups and head of states in the region will honor the president's request and grace the party. The Council of Ministers held its uh, regular meeting number 20 for the year 2018, today, Friday, October 12, uh, 2018. The meeting was shared by His Excellency, President of the Republic, and it was attended by a number of national ministers. On the first agenda, as usual, the Council uh, reviewed, confirmed, and adapted the resolution of the extraordinary meeting that was held last Friday, uh, last uh, Wednesday. Lily then played the prospect of Dr. Rieg Machar not attending the celebrations, but confirmed he has been invited. Today's cabinet meeting, which had one agenda on the table, began with the adoption of the previous resolutions reached during Wednesday's sitting in which the implementation of the peace agreement was formally passed. The revitalized peace agreement uh, was uh, presented to the Transitional National Legislative Assembly and it will be discussed this coming Monday, uh, which is October 15. The Cabinet also listened to a memo on the budget for the peace celebrations presented by the Deputy Minister of Finance. Though it's not clear how much the event will cost, Lily had this to say. It was a memo from the Honorable Deputy Minister of Finance and Planning uh, on the budget estimates for the celebration of the peace agreement. And the Honorable Deputy Minister of Finance presented the memo on behalf of the organizing committee that was formed by His Excellency the President to organize for the peace celebration that is scheduled to take place on the 30th of this month. The government has on many occasions reiterated readiness to fully implement the peace deal and calls on the opposition groups to do the same. Today's brief meeting centered on the round-the-clock preparations the government is making to ensure what citizens hope is the last peace agreement is fittedly celebrated. For SSBC News, I am Ayuel Chai.